You there with your flock of seagulls haircuts. It's me, Colonel Failure. We're back with Train Sim World and we're going to have another swing at the Trans Pennine route in the rain. The Trans Pennine route's always in the rain. Where today we're going to endeavour to actually stop at some actual stations and actually dispense some passengers where they actually want to go. Uh, I've got to get on board. That's the easy bit. All right there, Dennis. How's it going? Uh, nice coat. Uh, right, let's uh, close the door. Yes, let's uh, close the door. Go. Now sit in the chair. Let's get the window open. No, let's. Uh, that was that was not. Let's get the window open. That was let's stand up again. Right, groovy. Okay, so let's turn the windscreen wipers on. That's a break. That's a wiper. On. Oh yeah. Oh, now we're cooking with with all kinds of gas. Uh, I want some lights on as well. There you go. Let's put the nose light on. Let's turn the engine room light. Whatever. And then uh, heaters, yeah, I don't want to mess up, you see. Uh, route indicators, headlight switch is already on, spare switch. We'll leave that spare in case of later. Uh, we'll turn the tail light right and left on as well. Why not? I'll inspect something later on. Uh, right, okay, we've got Huddersfield coming up presently. Uh, I'm going to get underway and, uh, and I'll see you there. Well, that's obviously still broken. Uh, hold on, we haven't got to the stick the instrument lights on as well. Right, we're rolling. Uh, me and Dennis are going to. I mean, look at him; he's in a foul mood. Uh, but uh, but we're gonna we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna hit up Huddersfield. I mean, that might be why he's in a foul mood. Who knows? Uh, but we're gonna hit up Huddersfield in a little while. I'm going. I'm gonna guess. Well, no, that's a speed limit change. That's not the object. Hold on, one meter. What now? What do you want me to do? Just release it. Oh, you see, that's the mistake you made last time as well. Ah, well, I've not made that mistake this time. No, I'm ready to make all new mistakes. Uh, let's put a blind down. There you go. That's it. I'm now... That's... I mean, <laughs> whoever designed this is a... Is a wally. Uh, right, going to go through the tunnel again. You're familiar with the route. Uh, admittedly, we saw it at, uh, at quite high speed last time. Uh, this time we're going to see it at slightly lower speed with various stops. Uh, I think we're supposed to stop like three or four times. But um, frankly, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to stop more times than that. Uh, the good news is that none of those stops should be due to the emergency brake being triggered. Because uh, it's the 1980s, and therefore safety is uh, is not our homeboy. Uh, safety, in fact, doesn't exist. Oh, the rain goes off, rain goes on. That's that's nice. Although these wipers clearly are made by British Leyland, because uh, I mean it's just not it's not getting all of the wiping angle there. Although maybe there isn't actually a blade on that bit. That's just that's just bad design, frankly. Uh, we'll keep the speed down because uh, we've got to drop to to 15 in a minute. And, uh, and as much as I don't, uh, I don't subscribe to your speed limits anymore, I've been through this route at uh, very high speed and it doesn't give a monkey's. And it's probably because this particular locomotive is made out of lead. So it won't fall off the track no matter what you do to it. And I know that because I've done it to it. There's a, there's a green light there, look. Probably means we're okay to go. Um, I, don't, I mean, it's just a just a guess on my part. Uh, right, we should probably start to think about not accelerating anymore, and possibly think about a bit of initial application, and then possibly think about quite a lot of application. We are going a bit fast here, which is going to cost me. We're going to need to think about an awful lot of application, full service, service the heck out of the thing. Right, de-service a bit. We don't want to slow down too much before we. Oh, I see. I see, you've, you've gone all cranky pants on me and you've stopped us early. We're not there yet. Now I'm going to, I want to ease forward a bit further. Don't fail the mission on me, okay? I just want to, I'm going to get a little bit closer to where we're supposed to be and then everybody will be happier, right? I'll unlock the doors. Yeah, you see the, uh, the template for where I'm supposed to stop has now disappeared, which means that I've probably hosed this already. All right, well, we'll turn the throttle off. And they can they can just lump it. They can get out wherever we uh, wherever we've landed here. Right, brake a bit. As you were, good. Yeah, unlock the doors. Uh, let's unlock the right hand side doors. They're the safer ones to unlock. Uh, I'm going to go for a for a poke about the outside because I didn't get to do that last time. There we go. 
Hello, Huddersfield! I am here, your saviour. Mate, the carriages aren't getting any closer. That's it, go on, down the platform with you. There you go, well done you. Good, nice jumper. It's very, very suitable. Uh, we're on platform eight. I uh, don't need to give them an announcement, obviously, because uh, this this is maybe our, our first uh, our, our first stop. Let's close the... Uh, Oh, no, let's keep keep window open. Uh, good bit of ventilation helps everybody out significantly. Uh, we're almost there. Oh, it's a, it's a very tightly knit. Um, what's the what's the word? Why can't I remember? Perm. There you go. A very tightly knit perm. She's got going on there. Close doors. And uh, right, let's go and get back in the uh, in the administration section, and uh, and then we'll get uh, get ourselves underway here. Uh, up we go. Thank you. And into the chair. Oh, I, I might have interacted with the AWS something or other. Uh, right, lock the doors. Lock everything. Get them locked. Objective complete. There's something we don't hear all the time. Uh, are we underway? Ravensthorpe in uh, how long? Eight minutes. Ah, we'll make it. Let's go. Rip that a lot. Actually, no, no. We we'll want to avoid wheel spin, so let's rip it a bit until we start moving. Have I got the brake on? Of course I have. Right. Overcharge the brake. And away we go. And away, away, away we go. Right, there we go. Uh, it's, uh, there you go. This is, uh, this is union work at its finest here. I kind of go, we're going. No, I shall go on my own time. You, the man, don't get to tell me when to go. I shall go when it suits me. Uh, Anti-slip brake on or off. Well, which lever am I messing with there? Well, whatever it is. Oh, it's the little button on the end. Anti-slip brake. Really? This has got uh, anti-lock braking going on. Oh, that's cool. Uh, right. Okay. Probably ought to notify the passengers of uh, of where we're going and why. Uh, so uh, so let's uh, let's get on to my 1980s uh, public address system. Today <laughs> Uh, we're currently uh, leaving Huddersfield, which I think you're already very grateful about. Uh, our next stop will be Ravensthorpe in uh, a few minutes' time. Uh, I invite you to kick back, relax, and uh, try not to let that chewing gum on your seat get stuck to your trousers. There's your driver. There you go. Totally authentic. Uh, now, I mean, for those of you who've watched a few of these, I've done that joke before, but it was funny then. It's funny now. Um, right, okay, so Dennis is there. He's, he's on board largely to wield the fire extinguisher when the need arises. Although, if he keeps staring at me, as he is not currently... There you go. Stop giving me the eyeball, Dennis. I'll chuck you out the door, mate. That's why I've left it open. Uh, right, our speed limit here is... Ooh, I don't know, what, 70? Yes, it is 70. And I'm uh, I'm giving the, the, uh, the train the permission to go as fast as it ruddy well pleases. Uh, because I enjoyed doing that last time, and therefore we're doing it again. What do we got there? Brake selection switch, air, or vacuum. Ooh, well, that's nice. Braking in two flavours there. Uh, that's that's the way you want things to be, I would imagine. Uh, right, we've got, ooh, what? Four and a bit miles to go. Okay. Uh, we've got six minutes to get there. Okay, we can do this. We can do it. Hold on. There's, uh, there's Bernie. Uh, Bernie's going the opposite direction today. Still owes me a tenner. There you go, Bernie. I'll give you the little hoot of, I haven't forgotten you still owe me a tenner. Um, and uh, stop wearing Simple Minds t-shirts. You're too old for that. Uh, as that said, I might be a bit too old to be referencing Simple Minds. I need to think further back than that. Uh, or oh, what? Initial post-punk type stuff? Yeah, maybe. Um, Gary Newman? Oh, I don't know. See, did the, the the right early '80s, uh, right at the start of my uh, my musical awareness, which only starts to probably properly kick in uh, in around sort of 1984, 85 kind of a time. Uh, before that, I was you know I was only like well I don't know how old was I? 1980, I was seven. Right. So uh, so only limited understanding of uh, of exactly what's going on. Uh, right. Okay. What else can we do? Well, I'm exceeding the speed limit because I want to be on time. Um, and also, I like going really fast. We won't exceed the speed limit the rest of the way. Uh, we will instead endeavour to uh, to try and play by the rules at least a little bit. 
let's uh, let's put our service application on here but I'm I'm driving with full confidence that uh, that I'm not going to cause any uh, any problems at all because we we managed to rattle it over a hundred mile an hour through that through the whole selection last time and uh, and nothing bad happened to us so uh, so I think the rules in this case were just made up by some joker who uh, who wants to take away everyone's fun and uh, it's written in my contract that fun is one of the things that I am permitted to have. Anyway, it's a, it's a very grey and murky afternoon here in the uh, north. Hold on, where are we? Uh, west. No, east. Northeast. Beg your pardon. Um, yeah, we're not quite... No, we're not west. Huddersfield's definitely not west. Or is it? Don't don't go don't go uh, confusing yourself there by trying to figure out geography that you're not wholly familiar with. No, Huddersfield's east. Huddersfield's in flipping Yorkshire, so you know that's east, you joker. Uh, certainly. Anyway, uh, you're getting lit up in the comments about now, so uh, so let's move on to uh, to sunnier things, which you're not going to find in Yorkshire. Um, right, cracking on. Uh, we've we've got what left now here? Three and a bit minutes to go. How far? Two miles. Ooh, it's going to be close, especially with the way that I handle braking. Uh, it's going to be very close. We want to go a bit faster. That's running. Uh, this, give it everything. Give it the works. We're going to need to. We're going to need to build up a, a, a head of a schedule in order to. Uh, there's a dark satanic mill look. Hmm. Uh, in order to uh, to stand even a fighting chance at arriving at 21 minutes past five. Also, I would like to point out that I have been thrashing the speed limit the entire way, and we've still got no chance of arriving. I'm... What's that all about? I left more or less on time-ish, kind of. Uh, so, it's no wonder that uh, British Rail in the 80s was a shambles, because whoever set the timetables had no clue what they were doing. You kind of go like, have you driven this route? You can't get there in six minutes. No, it's not possible. Not unless you break all the speed limits. Oh, you can't break the speed limits. Well, then, I rest my case. Right, let's just roll it. Mile to go. Now, this big boy here is, uh, and it's not a big boy, it, but this, he's a big lad, nonetheless. Uh, he's going he's to struggle to slow down at any great kind of pace. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to start with a bit of, uh, a bit of 3% service on here and see what that accomplishes. Oh, precious little. Uh, but that's okay, we've got half a mile to go. Yeah, still precious little. We're going to up this to around, uh, around 10% now. Because we mean it, and, uh, and we're serious about such things. Oh, we've got a 45 mile an hour coming up. It's okay, we're only doing 63. Uh, that's close enough. You're going to need lots more per break than that. Let's go for 75 here. Yep, yep, here comes the overshoot. Yep, full brakes. All the brakes, full service, everything. Hammer down, hammer down. Throw the anchor out the back. Oh, knickers. No, we're out. No, we're going. No, we're not going to make it. Oh, it's, we're close, though. It was that initial 3% that completely hosed it. That said, this uh, this platform's still viable even here. Unlock left. Unlock left. Right, okay, well, you know, we haven't failed. Uh, let's get out and see how much we haven't failed by. Yes, it, there's just a little fence, and that only stops me. And even then, it doesn't. Uh, so, uh, so we overshot by a smidge... Uh, the passengers will have really enjoyed that bit of braking there because they will have stood up early in order to make their way to the exit and uh, uh, some of them would have been in transit they will have all fallen into each other and they will have been you know rolling eyes that's that's all that's not good is it um you know people rolling eyes the roof's gone um and early nine only early 80s are you sure that feels this these plastic uh, in there you've typically got your your rock salt to uh, to stop slipperiness. I didn't think in the 80s we gave a monkeys about such things. Um, also, has that got a black bin liner in it? Yeah, no chance. No chance did a bin have a black bin liner in it. Uh, usually they were on fire because uh, that's what that's what you did. You go like, oh look, they've put one of those new plastic bins up. Let's set fire to it. Uh, well, anyway, anachronisms aside, we're all loaded here. Uh, turn the and no no turn the brake to off, right? And then we'll give it a moment for the dials to stop moving, because that means something. And uh, once they've done so, there you go. That all looks promising. 
We'll give it some... Oh, that's 24% or to cook it. There you go. Marvellous. Oh, I haven't locked the doors. Hang on. Uh, well, no, they, they, appear to, they, they appear to have locked themselves. There we go. That's, that's fine. Ah, we're, we're all good. All right. Seven and a bit miles to go to Leeds Approach. Now, I think that it's, it says go via location. I don't think it necessarily means I have to stop there. But I'm going to prepare to stop there. Because I am a consummate professional. Yes. Yeah, I am consummate. Consummate, consummate professional. Um, right, let's, uh, let's talk to passengers again. Pip, pip, there passengers, it's me, your pilot. And, uh, and we're driving through the rain in the north of England because, well, what else do you expect? And I know I say it every time, but uh, getting a rise out of people is a surefire way to get a few extra comments, and that's a good thing. Uh, I know, I'm, I'm breaking the fourth wall there, and now referencing it, I'm breaking possibly a fifth wall. Still, walls are there to be broken. Um, anyway, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be, stop anti-slipping the brake. Uh, we're going to be heading towards Leeds. Uh, what we're going to do when we get there is anyone's guess. Um, uh, meanwhile, if you look very closely on the, uh, oh, that's, we're gonna, we can drop outside and have a look. Uh, if you look very closely on the side of the cooling tower there, you'll see a, uh, uh, an elder, a slightly older gentleman, uh, climbing it with a rope, uh, ahead of it being blown up later on. Because I think that's all we ever do with cooling towers these days, is we just blow them up. Because it makes for a, makes a tremendous piece of social media, which hasn't been invented yet. Uh, you've still got about 20 years to wait for that. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, Leeds, your next stop. Yeah, all right. I've, done, I've decided to jump on board the uh, anachronism bandwagon uh, and uh, and really ride it like a pony. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get some let's get some glamour shots going on here. Oh, if I'd have done this sooner, we could have got the cooling tower in the background and everything. Uh, but check this out. Look at that. How can you not like this? Uh, it's just... I mean, look, it's hedge. Oh, wow. What a great shot you haven't engineered there in the slightest. We're going. I've got both my doors open. It's absolutely terrific. Are these signals good? They're good. And uh, for once, I don't have to worry about the ruddy uh, anti-lock warning system coming on. Because there isn't one. Uh, it's got a button that uh, will allow me to interfere with it. Uh, should the leader rise? Oh, it's right here. This is a good shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is the uh, stick your head out of the side window like a dog uh, shot that is uh, that is absolutely missing from this particular iteration of the train simulation. Simula simulation? It's a word. Um, no, uh, yeah, we, you don't have that so much. The original train sim has a button where you can literally stick your head out of the window like a dog and uh, let your tongue flap in the breeze. Why are we only doing 65? I said I was going to try and abide by the speed limit. Then why did you use the word only there? Well, force of habit. Um, right, there we go. We'll just, we'll cruise for a bit. Now, I am led to believe... What are you led to believe? You don't know what you were led to believe. Well, yeah, but uh, me Ridley Scott ceiling fan is uh, it's all going and uh, at this stage in history Ridley Scott has only just stopped making commercials for Hovis what are you talking about he's already done Alien and Blade Runner's shooting now yeah you know, okay yes that's that's quite true so maybe maybe I'm inaccurate there but it is a non-specific year so I can I can be broadly accurate you, you that would be a first um, right what else we got going on what, what what can I do here while I amuse myself for the next couple of minutes or, well, five. And and furthermore, while I amuse you, here's us going past the Class 101. I know it's Class 101 because it's got a number that is easy to remember. I've driven one of those. They're great fun to drive, then. Uh, if you search back uh, through the annals of the channel, uh, or rather the annals of the playlist, you will find my, uh, my 101 video. It's got a really good opening, even though I say so myself. If you don't appreciate the opening, then uh, I can't help you. But, uh, but as it stands, just a terrific, a terrific opening there. Oh, we're doing all of this. Now, I mean, we can, uh, we can forgive the, uh, uh, well, we can forgive everything, frankly, when it looks like this. Oh, this is tremendous. Right, let's go, let's, let's actually look where we're going and see if we've got some, uh, some interesting, uh, fauna and flora that we can remark on. Doug, give me the eyeball, Dennis, um, because, uh, there'll be some around, inevitably. If we, can, if we can spot a sheep, uh, then uh, 
then we can declare mission complete. In fact, they should give me bonus points for spotting sheep because I'm, I'm pretty much the only person who does so. And, uh, and somewhere, someone has decided that, uh, that having sheep in the fields is an important thing. Yeah, there you go. Right, another tunnel. We'll, uh, we'll give it some hoot as we go through. I'm going to start by going up. Yeah, I really ought to get that fixed. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like I'm inserting something into a sheep at, uh, at quite high velocity. Ah, whoop. Oh, nice echo in the tunnel. Uh, great acoustics in here. Uh, maybe I should maybe I should perform a gig in the tunnel at some point. Maybe I should maybe I should change the way that my commentary sounds while I'm inside the tunnel. That oh, way I can be more authentic. authentic. And it's happened already, as you can plainly hear. There you go. Because we're in a tunnel now, I'm terribly, terribly echoey. And that's that's good too. I also don't need my wipers, because uh, we're in the tunnel now. There you go. Not off park of it. Park park me wiper. There you go. Leave that in park. And, uh, and everything is everything is suitably glorious. Right, we've got a speed limit changing a mile and a bit. I'm only just I'm only just beating the speed limit. Now. Let's, uh, let's crop back down to about. I mean, we're going uphill, so I'm going to need to give it some welly. Oh no, we're going downhill. I'm not going to need to give it any welly. We'll just roll it uh, like so. Now we may even possibly still pick up speed while rolling it, uh, but uh, we'll we'll be largely okay. I'm only just I'm only just ahead. Actually, what does it look like outside at this point? Well, as you'd expect, really, it's kind of dark and in a tunnel and so forth. Yeah, okay. And looking back, there we go. There's me, there's Dennis. Very, very calm. And there's, there's some lights. That's nice too. Good. How far through? I'll tell you, it took a lot less time to get through this tunnel last time, but then last time I was doing 100 miles an hour, so... Uh, that's, that's somewhat to be expected. I'd, I'd already ascertained that I'd, I'd completely pooched the scenario at this point. So uh, I'd, I'd decided just to, just to go with it. Um, right, throttle off. No, let's, let's give it a bit of initial. Give me some initial here. We want to slow down a bit. I want to, I want to nod towards the speed limits that are being imposed on me rather than, uh, rather than just, you know, flagrantly violating safety laws that exist for very good reason. I mean, you have to think about the wear and tear that you're putting on the rail bed itself. Uh, you know, that's that's something that we should we should certainly consider. Right, two miles. We started braking last time at just over the one mile mark, and it wasn't quite enough. So, uh, so I'm going to need to I'm going to need to keep my wits about me and and be ready for this one. I mean, we've still got a bit to go. Uh, we'll release the brake again because we're we're back in line. Uh, right, okay, so it is now half past five. Uh, I'm, I've not been given any kind of a time limit vis-a-vis -vis when I should be arriving at Leeds Approach, but we shall approach it accordingly and, uh, and in good working order. Uh, right, one and a half miles. We're down. It's too soon. Too soon. Not ready for that yet. Speed limit's going to change again, but uh, I'm not going to pursue it. I'm going to keep the, the happy... Uh, 57 that we're doing now is absolutely appropriate for the track. Uh, obviously, that speed limit only changes when the back of the train passes through it, but that's that's quite super. Um, um, got it. 1.2, get your wits about you. Come on. Uh, we're going to start at 6% this time, and uh, and see how we get on with that. Now we've not started. We're not as fast this time as we were last time. I'm going to aim to land this turkey in the green. This is like uh, it's like golf with trains. Uh, not entirely sure how that would work, but uh, but there it is. Uh, right. Okay. So now down to forty-five ish. Thank you. And uh, point eight of a mile to go. Down to forty-four. Okay. We can actually ease off on the brake. Back to initial. Now this is good. No, we're still dropping. Still dropping. Brake off. There you go. We've got half a mile to go. We can, I'm happy to cruise the last half a mile at, uh, you know, at 35-ish. I, I, I rate my chances of being able to pull off a, uh, a splendid victory here. Um, that said, still don't know if we're, going for, uh, if we're going for a park here or if we're just... Yeah, you see, I think this is not actually a stop. 
I think this is a go through. It's go, go, go via location. Doesn't say stop at location, does it? It says go via location. Well, we're going to go via it. Are we gambling on it being not a stop? Yes, look, there's no platform there. This is just a go via. Right, rip it. Right, turn that back off. There you go. Yeah, alright. I was ready though. Oh, I was I was good to go on that approach. I mean, you know, that was all good. We eased that down. I was I was fully ready to stop. See, it says stop at location when you're supposed to stop at the location. Uh, and in 700 yards, we've got a yellow. Right, okay. Ease that right back off. Uh, and then at point nine, we've got a 25. And I'm pretty sure this is where I tripped myself up last time. So uh, let's get you onto initial again. And uh, actually, we ought to be ready for that 25. So uh, so let's drop it to 10% here. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm playing it conservative. We played fast and loose to begin with, but we're now playing it conservative because uh, I don't want to I don't want to wreck it. Uh, we got another yellow in 600 yards, and then we got 25 beyond that. Okay, let's ease it down and then ease it off again. There you go. Right, we are still going downhill, but we have the speed limit set correctly, well ahead of schedule. But I sus I think it's going to throw a red at me. I do. I think that's that's the trick. What it does have up its sleeves is is uh, is it's it's going to chuck a red at me and go ha ha ha. You were not ready for the red. I go. I flipping am ready, mate. I'm uh, you know I'm I'm absolutely poised. I'm on point. I am uh, I'm pushing the envelope. I'm blue sky thinking and uh, and other things. I'm going to get myself some red, some red, yeah, 500 yards, we've got to stop that off, no, that off, this, give it some, plenty of time, plenty of time, 400 yards till the red, I mean, okay, I mean, it might sound like, you know, I've, I've got some amazing insight going on here, but it, the fact of the matter is, this is the red that I tripped last time round, and, uh, and ended my merry, joyous scenario once and for all. And all were sad because everybody desperately wanted to see me drive at 100 miles an hour into the station. Right, it's gone yellow. Okay, break off there. I think this is actually an appropriate speed. Oh, how dare I? An appropriate speed, no less. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Two yellows. That's one more than one yellow. Uh, we've got 0.7 of a mile to go until our destination. Uh, which is in a minute's time. We're not going to make that. Uh, and then we've got a 20 mile an hour in a, in a hundred and some odd yards. So we'll uh, we'll stick service two. That should be enough just to ease it back a bit. And it is. Oh, look at that. Flawless. It's another 101. Look, that's, that's lovely. Again, that's the only one I, I know by sight is that one. I mean, obviously, I recognize my train. I know exactly what it looks like. Loco. It's not a train. It's a loco. Well, there's a train. It's got a train behind it. Hush. Um, all right. Still going. We've got 350 yards till we need to be doing 10. I'm doing 7 at the moment. Are you off? I'm running. Release. Never mind running. Um, are we still stopping? No, we're, we're rolling. It's okay. Just remain calm. Everything at this point is going to happen at very slow speed. Probably out of some kind of necessity. But that necessity eludes me um, quite significantly. And uh, I know, look, I mean, there's a lot of track going on here. There's there's lots of lots of action. Um, I, I, you know, it's, I, I think it's worth noting. You know, look, there's a there's a bridge, some more track, uh, there's some satanic mills over there, and I'm sure they're dark. Uh, that over there is probably either no longer there or it's been converted into a Starbucks and that's uh, that's progress apparently uh, right let's get us down to 10 I don't want to run afoul of the uh, of the rotund controller and all his merry men uh, no I, uh, uh, I I don't want that in the slightest and obviously at this stage in history it is merry men because uh, you know, apparently only only men can operate a wiggly lever. I'm very much trailblazer in that regard. All right, check me out. Trailblazing. Dennis. Um, right, okay. Now then, what next? 
I'm doing the next signal is yellow. I'm good for that. Uh, we're doing under the speed limit at the current time. What are we on? 12% throttle. Okay, what's the brake doing? Running. Wow, I, I appear to be getting this right. There's a shocking thing. Uh, well, I do, I do like to confound your expectations. It has to be said, and, uh, and I'm certainly confounding them at the moment. I mean, I don't think I'm going to end up with very, very many uh, career-based action points as a result of this scenario because I did fair rinse the speed limit at the very beginning there. But uh, who knows? Anyway, at this speed, I might even be able to land it in the green. That's that's super. Of course, the bullseye dartboard never had any green on it. I did it. No, it was just black and red. Uh, because uh, hey, and yet in the prize board, none of the other boards really matter. The prize board's the only one that's of any interest to anyone at all. Well, anyone with any sense, anyway. Uh, right, throttle off. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll just cruise it down here, and if we if we hemorrhage a little bit of speed while doing so, I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, and uh, here we go. Everybody hold your breath. Are we going to do this or am I going to stop too quickly? Or are we going to run into the buffers? Well, that's, I mean, this is thrilling. I mean, I should have just done this as the whole video. Is uh, are, are we going to run into the buffers? I could do this at, at one mile per hour, uh, milk it for 30 minutes, and, uh, you know, you'd all be on the edge of your collective. Right, okay. When are you going to break? I'm going to break as soon as I think we're done with this. I think we're now, I think now's the time. And what level of brake are you using? 75 for all of it. All the brakes. There we go. I'm claiming victory early. Yeah, that's about right. Good. Back in. There you are. Right. And unlock the doors. Unlock the left-hand doors, please. There you go. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ah, don't, no, don't lock them again. And, uh, what a landing! My goodness me! I, I, I do tend to operate the, uh, the train rather like a milk float and or UPS van. Uh, in that the doors are never closed so that I can hop in and out when it suits. Well, we could have got a bit closer to the buffers, couldn't we? I think we've, we've left more than enough room for, for error there. Not that I'm ever going to make an error, you understand. Objective complete! Woohoo! Hey, you! I completed the... Alright, walk through me. Hey, sassy lady! I walked through, I did it! And, uh... Here you are again. There's a glitch in the matrix. Uh, right, hold on, I've got to turn this off. Uh, climb up the step. Sit in the chair. Right, what? Set handbrake to applied. And the reverser and master key to off. Reverser to off ski. Right. What's going on over there? Handbrake released. Where is that? What am I? What am I looking at? Am I just looking at this grey, this grey white piece of? Dennis, this is your job, mate. You've had nothing to do all day but throw shade in my direction. The least you could do is apply the flaming handbrake when it needs doing. No, 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 don't trouble yourself. I'll do it. There you go. Turn, turn the handle, Dennis, until it's been turned. What do you want? Nice tash. Um, uh, the train to Liverpool's coming up in a minute. Oh, very good. Very good. You've not only wound up those from Yorkshire, you've, you've also gone after the Scousers as well. Marvellous. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's very brave there, you big yokel. Um, right, turn the master key to off. It's off. Climb down from the locomotive. I have climbed down. All right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Uh, good. There we go. Oh, I've got to walk over. It. Do I get to play with another train? Terrific. Excuse me, everybody. And they want me to. Uh, they want me to do something with this next train. Oh, they don't. Okay, let's have a look at the speed graph here. Well, we went. Uh, we stopped a lot there, and then we went super duper fast. Actually, that was probably Huddersfield. It was, that was definitely Huddersfield. We were due at, uh, at nine minutes past. We arrived at 11 minutes past. Two minutes behind schedule. Okay. Stop accuracy, not good. Uh, at Ravensthorpe, we were due at 21. We arrived early. Stop accuracy, adequate. 
And then uh, our final stop, we drop back to be two minutes behind schedule. And our stop accuracy was slightly better than adequate. Okay. All right. Slightly better than adequate. And that's my name. I'm Colonel Slightly Better Than Adequate. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, fling yourself a subscription in this direction, and uh, and then you'll you'll see another one of these when I do one, which will probably be soon enough. Although, I, well, hold on, hold on, hold hold everything. Now, I mean, this is fine. I slowed down too much, and now I wanted to speed up again. That's that's okay. We'll ignore that bit. That was while I was being belligerent as usual. Uh, over here, a little bit more gentle, but here's where we decide we're going to apply the speed limits to our operations. We dropped way below it there. That's that's cost me. That's that's cost me points and everything. And then we go too slow, bit faster, too slow, bit faster, way too slow, bit faster, and then level it out and stop. Yes. Good. Right, catch you next time. Cheerio. You can tell when I've started to get things in hand and started to be a little bit more competent when uh, I start recycling gags. Uh, good gags they may be, but recycling is uh, is never at the cutting edge of, well, anything, really, except for you know, saving the planet stuff. Like that. that's, that's a different topic, really. And uh, and I think potentially I'm overplaying this. I'm, I'm overplaying my train simulation. Uh, to the extent that uh, I'm now starting to become aware of, like, signals. Crying out loud. Uh, how am I supposed to generate a chuckle from getting it wrong when I'm getting it right? I can't fake getting it wrong. No, I've, I've got to get it wrong organically. Um, in a fair trade kind of fashion. Uh, where are we going with this? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. All right, pull the ripcord. Let's get out.